Hi everyone, Big Pooly back for some Monday Blu-ray DVD and Blu-ray hunting. Yes, in a supermarket. <laughs> We're still stuck with bloody Tesco's and Sainsbury's, but we are going to add in a little bit of Poundland, so that all helps. So what is out today, I shall show you in a little minute with my, uh, with my posh overdub. Uh, but the main one is... Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. That's right, Wonder Woman 1984. So we're going to go and have a look in the supermarkets, see what they've got. Uh, hopefully they've actually got it in the supermarkets that we're going to. But uh, you never know these days. I had actually thought about maybe dressing up as Wonder Woman. But it is still a little bit cold out there. We're only barely in double figures. So it'd be a bit cold on my nips. <laughs> and also, I was worried that maybe someone might give a yank on my lasso. So, <laughs> so I thought I'd better not. But anyway, yeah, let's get on the road. Let's get to our first stop. We're going to Westwood Cross today. So let's try out the big Sainsbury's down there. The Sainsbury's that has so much physical media down there. The way that things are going at the moment, probably it's all bloody clothes where the physical media was. But anyway, let's find out. So let's get on the road and let's go to Sainsbury's. OK, so let's take a look at a few of the releases coming out on Monday, the 22nd of March, 2021. Of course, the big release is Wonder Woman 1984. And today we have the Blu-ray and the 4K as well. We also have a double pack with Wonder Woman 84 and the original Wonder Woman, both in Blu-ray and 4K. And we have the standard 4K stillbook with a lovely image on the cover there. I like that inside image as well. We also have an HMV exclusive for Wonder Woman 84. Beautiful gold stillbook artwork on there. And new today from Second Sight is a Blu-ray and 4K box set of Dawn of the Dead. We also have Gattaca being released on 4K and also an exclusive stillbook coming from Zavi. And we have a new Titans of Cult release, the Tim Burton's Batman in 4K. Finally released on 4K is Jojo Rabbit, hopefully with a slipcover. Two new TV series released today, including Bloodlands and Van Helsing. And new from Arrow is Bloodhound. Coming from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment is the Undoing Complete Season box set. We also have a new Jackie Chan release, Lucky Stars, a three movie collection. Okay, so we're down here at Sainsbury's at Westwood Cross. Just saw something disturbing on my drive through to the, uh, the car park here. On the other side of the building, it said Argos opening soon in Sainsbury's. Now, from what I understand, that's never a good thing because it means that they've probably either got rid of already or planning to get rid of their media and incorporate it into Argos. So, yeah, so we could very well go in there now and not find anything or find a very reduced amount of physical media. That's got me a little bit nervous now because even though I've been banned from the same space twice, I think... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this Sainsbury's for physical media because they have like three complete aisles. They have a world cinema section, uh, a new DVD section, and uh, they've always had 4Ks, Blu-rays. So yeah, uh, this might be probably one of the last times maybe that I'm going to this one. But uh, I don't come down here that often anyway. Well, not going in a lockdown, we don't. <laughs> but normally, uh, we would be down here every week because we had good old HMV just down there. Uh, but now that's a men kind. But um, 
yeah, every now and again I like to come down here just for familiar territory. But uh, yeah, let's go into Sainsbury's. Let's go and have a look, see if they still do have their physical media. Um, yeah, I've not got good vibes about this, but let's get in there anyway. Okay, before we go in, uh, I do need to also get some deep heat for my back. You know, sometimes you lay crooked and you buggy your back and then it's like, ah, can't move, ah, can't move. I need to get some deep heat um, to ease my back. But uh, hopefully they won't recognise me and kick me out the door. But I've got the mask, so maybe I could just blend in with the surroundings. Me, blend in. That's not going to happen. Okay, let's get in there then. Okay, it's still one way round, so you have to go all the way around the block to get in the entrance. So this is where the Blu-rays and the DVDs were. What? Okay, so we just had a chat with the chap there. Yeah, gone. Argos opens in May and they're going to incorporate whatever little Blu-ray and DVDs they have into our goss, but as we used to know it, no longer. I knew it would come eventually. I think I was probably just denying it, but I never thought this Sainsbury's would get rid of their physical media. There's really not going to be much reason to come down here very soon. No HMV. Uh, we've got no Sainsbury's physical media now. We have Tesco's over there, which is okay. Uh, and we're also going to have to do... I think because we didn't have much luck with Sainsbury's, I think we're going to go and do Asda as well and have a look in there. Um, possibly this thing is going to happen in, May, uh, in Ashford's Sainsbury's as well. Because, you know, they haven't stocked up on the shelf for the last month. They already have an Argos over there, so it's only a matter of time before their media disappears. I think the only Sainsbury's that may be saved from uh, disappearing physical media is Folkestone Town Centre. Because the store's not big enough to put an Argos in, and there's an Argos just around the corner anyway. So I think uh, that one will stay, but... Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing after like three years. For like four years, I came down here to do Blu-ray hunting every week, guaranteed. We had so much fun. Sainsbury's always had new stuff. Tesco's had new stuff. We had HMV. With Poundland, we're getting new stuff in. It was just a really great place to come Blu-ray hunting. And uh, even they had the stand-ups, you know, like a really big release comes out, they would have to get massive cardboard stand-ups. But uh, it, all of that seems to have gone now as well. So we're kind of like physical media shopping bare bones at the moment. Um, but uh, we are going to go and try Tesco's, but it's sad times. Uh, I know what, not everybody shopped for physical media at supermarkets, but it was always nice to go in and see what they had and uh, see the big standees and that, you know, uh, like the Rogue One and um, the Star Wars, the Marvel ones, because you don't get them in HMV. You know, you always had them in, in the supermarkets. But I guess it's changing times, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, this may be one of the last times that we come down here, at least probably for about a year or so. Not the last time I'm going to come down this area because I've got a view my big view cinema right over there so I'll still be coming down here but um I don't know how how does Argus do physical media if they're incorporating the physical media into art how do you do it because with Argos things aren't on display do you have to look in the book there ain't no book now is there do you have to type in the keyboard what you want and then they go and get it from the web I don't understand how physical media is sold through Argus. If anybody knows, stick it down in the comments because I have no clue. 
but yeah. Okay, so we are done here at Sainsbury's. Let's pop over to Tesco's, have a look. Um, quarter to 12. Maybe the woman's still there with a the trolley because I think I got over there this, I read about this time last time and uh, she was still putting it out, but they're not a big stockist of uh, physical media now. So we may get the odd glimpse of maybe Wonder Woman on Blu-ray, I hope. If not, then uh, we'll go down to Asda and then come back up to Poundland. Right, okay, next stop, Tesco's. Okay, so we're down here at Tesco's. Yes, at least Tesco's can be bothered to put a sign on their roof, unlike Sainsbury's, who also can't be bothered to sell physical media anymore. Yes, I'm feeling very sour today. Right, let's go in, have a look, see what the damage is in Tesco's. Oh my God. I found a standee. I didn't think I'd ever see one of these again. Okay, so we have Wonder Woman 1984 with a beautiful sleeve. 90 minutes of special features. Look at the colours on that. Yeah, even that pops just like 4K. I wonder if we'll find a 4K in here. Uh, we have Wonder Woman 84 with a nice DVD sleeve. I like how they changed the covers up. Different pose on there by the lovely Gal Gadot. And over onto the main section, would you believe it? They actually do have the 4K. I don't believe it, as Victor Meldrew would say. Fantastic. Uh, I think they've got more than one copy. It looks like they've got two copies up here, 25 quid. But they also have the standard Blu-ray and also the double pack of uh, Wonder Woman 84 and Wonder Woman from a, uh, a couple of years ago. One of my favourite of the DCU movies. So yeah, I'm happy that they've got that in here. The DVD does have a really nice uh, sleeve to it and they have the double pack. And keeping on the warrior theme, we have the Warrior Queen. Yes, I'm not sure what this is. It's based on a true story apparently, but uh, it's one of those straight to DVD fares. We have uh, a film up here called The 800. Filmmaking on the grandest scale. Uh, the biggest box office hit of the year. I believe this is probably a South Korean movie. Uh, but we do have something called Pharaoh's War. And do you recognise this geezer on the front here with his tattoos? Yeah, I had to do a double take. It's Mike Tyson. Mike flipping Tyson in what looks like a war film. Oh, God, look at that face. I wouldn't want to go up against that face. Unless you're Frank Bruno, but then you lose. Uh, we have the Vicar of Dibley, the Immaculate Collection. Yes, very good series, a really good price at £13. And right down the bottom here we have a couple of disaster films, including Earthquake Los Angeles. Very nice covers, but probably meh films. Uh, and we also have Shockwave, Countdown to Disaster. Again, looks good on the cover, but whether the film's any good, I don't know. Up here, we do have a really nice Mulan slip. Yes, this is one of the new Disney collectible kind of retro slips that match all the others. So, yeah, it's good that they actually have this. Okay, I want the bloody fish and chips. Sodding open. Well, at least Tesco's has half saved the day today with the crap show at Sainsbury's. And I can't believe Tesco's actually had on the woman 1984 in 4K. That's the Blu-rays and the DVDs and the multi-pack. Brilliant. Okay, let's go back to the car. Oh yes, baby! Tesco's has come through. Wonder Woman 1984. Not only do we have a DVD and a Blu-ray and a double pack, but we also had one copy of the 4K. Fantastic. I thought supermarkets had like done away with the 4Ks, but yeah, I think actually they moved an aisle. I think they moved the physical media up an aisle because I got a bit nervous actually. <laughs> but we did get a stand up. Not a big one, but at least we got a stand up. So Tesco's is still embracing physical media, even if Sainsbury's is shitting all over it. That's fantastic. Going to head down to Asda in a minute and have a look down there. But uh, one thing I did notice on the shelf was Mulan, the new live action Mulan. It's got one of those new Disney retro slips that a lot of people like collecting. I think Movie Bug collects them. Uh, I don't recall ever seeing that on the shelf before. So that may be a new, newly released, newly designed slip 
to go alongside all the other Disney titles. So that's fantastic. So if you find that, grab that. But uh, yeah, okay, we are done here down at Tesco's. I'm on a little bit of a jolly now because uh, it was a bit depressing coming out of Sainsbury's, but Tesco's has really perked me up. That's all I need to perk me up on a Monday, Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> but I still can't get me fish and chips. <laughs> yes. Anyway, right, let's head off then to Asda. Oh, duh. Go and have a look, see what they've got on the shelves. Okay, so when me and Lulu and Claire used to come down here to the cinema, sometimes we would go to the Harvester and uh, have a lovely meal. It was called the David Copperfield. Yeah, uh, and it closed down, unfortunately. But guess what it's now turned into? Something that is very rare and we don't get many of. Soddy McDonald's. Yeah, we need another one. Okay, so welcome to Asda, the place where mildly intelligent people shop. Let's go and have a look. Okay, they also have a standee in, in uh, Asda as well, so that's pretty good. And uh, over here, oh my God. Okay, they've moved the physical media in Asda as well. Yes, completely shrunk down and moved. But enough about me. Anyway, that's Wonder Woman 84 there and also the double pack for 15 and 20 pounds. Down here we have the Survivor Series 2020 for all you wrestling fans, 10 pounds. And the Bridget Jones 3 movie collection on DVD as well. Never seen a single movie of this. Not sure I'm that interested. But we also have The Curse of Hobbs House. What, not Hobbs and Shaw? I don't think so. No, let's put that back because, ah. Death Row, Dead Man Rising. Yes, not Dead Man Walking, but Dead Man Rising. And up here we have a film called City of War. And guess who's in this? Steve Buscemi. It's a multi-award winning film. I don't know what awards, but it's multi. Yes, and next to it we have Assault on Station 33 with young Indiana Jones himself, Sean Patrick Flannery, looking really old there. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah, not sure what this is like, if it's like the other Assault on Station, whatever it was called. But uh, we have the killer next door, or a killer next door. I don't really think I want a killer next door. Who's John List? Never heard of him. The true story of John List. Never heard of him. What else have we got? Anything interesting? You're not alone. Now, there's a couple of people behind me, and there's also a woman at the checkout as well. So I'm definitely not alone here in Asda. Uh, we have Welcome to Sudden Death, the sensational sequel to the Jean-Claude Van Damme classic. This is probably not a classic, five quid. Uh, but we do have Royal Rumble 2021 for even more of you WWE fans out there for 10 quid. Plus we have the Pharaoh's War and the 800 as well. Okay, so out of Asda, I don't know why they need to blast massive loud music in your eardrums so that they bleed but uh, they seem to do that over the media section so it's gonna have to be an overdub for that one there was one film that I was interested in the 800 I've seen the trailer for it looks really good uh, but I don't know if I want to pick it up on DVD I did check Amazon there is a blu-ray release coming out on the 12th of April. So I'll probably just wait for that and pick it up on Blu-ray. Better quality, better picture, better sound, better overall, yes. But uh, before we head to our next stop, our last stop, which will be Poundland, I'm gonna go to Costa, get myself a cappuccino and see if I could pick up a sausage bat. Because, yes, we need a sausage bat. Ooh, we're at the drive through I want my sausage bat and my cappuccino, please. Do they only do sausage baps and bacon baps in the morning? Or do they do them all through the day? I'm pretty sure that I've actually had a sausage bap in the afternoon before. Because I like a nice couple of baps. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say here? It says, good mornings are back. Costa coffee with a British smoked bacon bap subject to availability. Yeah, I'm sure they do them. There are so many people out today. Blue sky, sunshine, plain places packed, and also for shopping. Hi, what can I get for you? Hello, can I have a large cappuccino, please? Yeah. Can I also have a sausage bap? 
sausage bag. Give me a second, mate. I'm going to have to go see if I've got some. All right, OK. Yeah, no worries, mate. Any sauce? Yeah, can I have uh, ketchup, please? Ketchup, yeah. Anything else for you? No, that's all. Thank you very much. All right, sweet. Drive on down, mate. One good minute for you. Thanks. Driving through the drive-through, getting my cappuccino and my baps. <laughs> okay. Right, it's parked up. I've got my lovely cappuccino. Oh, yes. Not a sponsor baby. Oh, that's lovely. Nothing nicer than a lovely cappuccino or a latte on a Blu-ray hunt. Am I right, Alan? Absolutely. But I decided to get myself something to eat as I'm a little bit peckish. And I'll concede that one of my sausages falling out. <laughs> oh, shit. Bloody hell, that's hot. <laughs> yes, it comes from a hot place. Oh, ah, I can't hold it. I can't, I can't hold it. It's so hot. Right, hang on a minute. Let's turn it upside down. Because, yes, I've lost a sausage. There's my sausage. <laughs> Let's put it back. I'm just going to squeeze my sausage back in my back. <laughs> Four sausages? I thought you only get three. Oh, maybe they saw me and thought, oh, look, it's Big Paulie. Let's give him an extra sausage. <laughs> uh, we've got some ketchup. So I'm probably going to squeeze this all over myself because it's only natural. It's like those stupid bloody milk containers. Do you remember those little milk containers you get in the, in the hotels? UHT or something. Right, let's put the old ketchup on. Oh my God, look at that. That is all. Right, let's try and show this so you can see what a lovely Costa sausage bat looks like. <sighs> With ketchup. Oh, right. I'm going to do a taste test. Yes, this is like one of the old food tasting ones, even though I've had it loads of times. Mmm. 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 That is absolutely gorgeous. I do love Costa sausage baps. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I also love the bacon ones as well, but with a bacon bap or bacon roll, you got to have brown sauce. I'm not taking any crap from anybody. It's got to be brown sauce on a bacon roll. But it really doesn't seem like we're in a lockdown. For starters, I shouldn't be at Westwood Cross. I've travelled a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but uh, still within driving distance. But uh, there's a lot of people out, the blue skies are out, people are protesting in London. <laughs> it's just like any other day. But uh, yes, yeah, a lovely day. It's good to get out. Um, even if we had a bit of a downer with Sainsbury's, Tesco's perked me up a bit and maybe also Asda as well. And um, you can top that off with a lovely sausage bab. But I'm just going to scoff this down now. Well, I'm not going to scoff it because I'm going to take my time and I'm going to enjoy my sausage. Because not many people enjoy my sausage. Oh, you're getting dirty and smutty now. Anyway, I'm going to eat this, have me cappuccino, and I shall see you at our last stop before heading home. Poundland. I forgot where we were going. Yes, Poundland. So I'll see you in Poundland. Sausageless. <laughs> okay, so we're here at our last stop of the day, Poundland. Let's go in, see if they've had a new delivery this week. Okay, as you can see, we have a full shelf of Blu-rays. So let's go and have a look, see what we've got. So we've got some Immortals in 3D with Henry Cavill. We have uh, some Ghost Protocol there. I can see some Sherlock as well and Haywire. Brilliant film with Viggo Mortensen, The Road. Really do enjoy that film. We have Selma. Uh, some Cloverfield I can see, plus The Last Airbender. They should pay me to take that, yes. The Force Awakens with the lovely Ray, plus also 300 as well. And we have Barbarossa, or Barbarossa, whatever that is. 
some Sweeney there, which uh, I did enjoy that film. A nice shooter in London. The Vow. Oh, pink case. Yes. Mm, I might pick that one up. We have some non-stop. Uh, what else have we got? Lots of Limitless here. Uh, some Arthur and some Lockout there. And we have Downton Abbey. Bit of Downton Abbey in Poundland. Always goes down well. Uh, the Artiste. That's an old one from Poundland. Lots of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes still in here. Uh, we have District 9, fantastic Neil Blomkamp film. And Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Uh, what else have we got here? Hugo in 3D. Yep, the Monuments Men there. And Jackie Chan, the Karate Kid version. Didn't really like that version. Uh, we have uh, Days of Future Past, X-Men in 3D. Uh, more Limitless, a bit of born there and yeah okay so out of poundland uh there wasn't really anything that special in there uh a lot of same repeated ones but they haven't had a massive new delivery since the last time we came down here so we're getting a bit uh lapsed down in this area but i did pick one thing up because i remembered i needed to pick a particular thing up yes i needed a pink case and i haven't seen a pink case in poundland for ages Pink case in Poundland, yes. So I've got the vow. I don't care a shit about the film. It could be good, but it's not the reason I picked it up. Trouble is, I can't remember why I picked it up and what I'm going to replace. I think it's the John Hughes. It could be the John Hughes movie collection. I can't remember. Uh, because it does have those bits in there where you can connect internal arms. And I do have, or trays rather, I actually do have a couple of pink trays that I could stick in there. I'm not sure about the spine because the John Hughes collection, the US one, is actually a slimmer spine. So I might have to do a, maybe a trim a bit. I think it was John Hughes. Someone did tell me on Instagram, I bet you're going to put that in a pink case. I'm pretty sure it's John Hughes. <sighs> I'm going to have to look on Instagram now. But anyway, I picked up a pink case for £2. Okay, so I think we are done. So let's get back to Dover. I do have a couple of bits coming to that. Well, I do have a couple of bits coming from HMV, but they only shipped them on Friday. So I've got a funny feeling they're not going to be at home. You're supposed to get your new releases for release day, but... It doesn't always happen, unfortunately. So I'm waiting on Wonder Woman and I'm also waiting on the 4K for Jojo Rabbit. But I normally get one of those HMV commerce emails to tell me that it's going to be delivered on the day. But I haven't had one today, so they may not arrive until tomorrow, which is not really right. Um, if something's released on release day, then you should have it on release day in your hands. But uh, we'll see when we get home. But uh, yeah, let's get back on the road. Let's get back to Dover and have a look. See if I've had anything delivered. Okay, so back from Blu-ray hunting. Just had my din dins. Cottage pie. Very nice. And yes, HMV have delivered. Yay! I am so happy. Two things today. Do, 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 do. Jojo Rabbit, that's right, Jojo Rabbit in 4K, with a slip cover, oh fantastic, now I have Jojo Rabbit, bear with me one moment, so I have the original release of Jojo Rabbit which only came on Blu-ray, uh, but I swapped the case out for a black one, because it looks so much better. Uh, but that can go as a giveaway now. And I have my new Jojo Rabbit with a slipcover, 4K. Oh, absolutely glossy. Brilliant. And actually the inside looks pretty much the same as the Blu-ray. <laughs> so let me just undo this and we can have a look inside. There we go. Oh, fantastic. We've got different artwork. Yes, we have. Okay, so on the Blu-ray, you had just the blue artwork. 
And then for the 4K, we actually have some artwork. So not just blue. And we also have it on the Blu-ray as well. So they've given the Blu-ray a new overhaul with some artwork. Fantastic. So I am very happy that I do have Jojo Rabbit now on 4K. Let's put that to one side. And then we have the big one. Yes, I didn't get an email from HMV saying it, they're due to deliver. They just delivered. I'm not complaining. Oh, yes, that looks gorgeous. Oh, my. Wow. Wonder Woman 84, the HMV exclusive 4K steelbook. Look at that lovely artwork. Brilliant. Yes, so I have that as well. I will be doing a separate unboxing for this beauty. So look out for that. I do also have, my head keeps ducking down, some subscriber mail from none other than Nerd Incorporated. Now, some of you might be wondering, who the hell is Nerd Incorporated? Well, he's a Blu-ray hunter, or was a Blu-ray hunter, and uh, a collector, like many of us. But uh, he's been off the circuit for a good two to three years. He said in his last video he was going to take a break, but uh, I recently been in touch with me from my video that I did about blue tubers that I miss. Uh, he's doing well. He is going to be taking another year off or so, but uh, he's very kindly sent me some subscriber mail. So they are today's deliveries. Jojo Rabbit on 4K and the HMV exclusive 4K steelbook. Very happy it's just those two. There wasn't really anything else that I really wanted. Next week, we've got Soul. Uh, we've got a couple of other bits and pieces. Plus, we also have the Thor 4K Mondo Steelbook. And just up, this is an exclusive. Read all about it. Yes. HMV have put up an exclusive Steelbook in 4K for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And the Steelbook looks amazing. So much better than the Justice League. <laughs> Justice League. Yeah, so looks like I might finally be actually getting rid of the old steelbook with the new steelbook coming in. Fantastic. Uh, the standard 4K is also up for pre-order. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to stick down in the comments what you picked up today or what you've had delivered. And I shall see you all on the next Blu-ray hunt. Uh, unfortunately, next week's going to be a short one again because I'm at work. Yeah, quite a big week as well. But um, we'll have a look, see if Soul is actually in store. But uh, until next time, bye.